Hello and welcome to the channel. As you can see, we've got a bit of a Star Wars background going on. So it must be a Star Wars figure. Let's have a look. Boom! We have the Star Wars Black Series Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. This guy is a beast. Check him out. He looks so nice. So he is from the new show, The Mandalorian. And he is D2. So we already got D1, which I think is Grievous. Yep. We've been waiting for D2 for a while. Which is Deluxe, if I remember correctly. We've got the artwork on the back, which is nice. And then we've got the Rido. A brawny warrior encased in strongest Besek armor and the mysterious heavy infantry Mandalorian is part of a secretive enclave of people. A born survivor, he guards a precious armory and helps keep the flames of the Mandalorian heritage flickering in this time of the galactic chaos. So there he is. So if you've seen the Mandalorian, you'll have seen this character. If you haven't, spoilers. I got, it, I got this spoiled originally for me. It comes with his backpack, which is like a power pack, a big heavy gun. But, I keep saying but, 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 let's get him cut open. Where's my knife? There it is. So, use my throwing knife. Oh. Now, I picked this guy up from my local Disney store, which is weird because my Disney store never gets Black Series in. I thought it was a pretty good one until I saw the bomb. Anyway, let's try and get him out. Are you enjoying the Mandalorian at the minute? And we've got the Rise of Skywalker coming out. Very, very soon. There he is. Now he looks a lot thicker than most Black Series figures. He's a bit roundish. Not just plenty of armor, he actually looks roundish. Oh, sorry. Anyway, jump cut. So here he is out of the packaging. And oh I like the Mandalorian, so that's pretty cool. I do like that. I like to do first is articulation. So let's start off. The head is on a ball joint, it swivels. And you don't get no movement really back and forth. His neck does actually move. It's interesting. We have arm rotation all the way around. And out. Ooh. His shoulder pads are soft rubber as well, that's good. So the shoulder pads are soft rubber, so they actually go over the hard plastic here. So you can actually just get his arms all up. There we go, that's very good. That's a great design, a lot better, Masbro. Uh, the arm is on a single inch, and the wrist is on a rocker and a swivel. Oh, I really do like them shoulder pads, they're awesome. Uh, we have a bit of... Oh, give me that click. We have a bit of movement on the abdomen. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. Uh, no way swivel. Leg kick. Kick back, practically not. And double jointed knees. Yeah, just a bit stiff at the minute. And then the ankle is on a rocker. And there is a pivot there as well. I really do like these shoulder pads. I've been them soft vinyl. I think they finally learnt. Look at that. Oh, that's very good. Oh, stiff. So his articulation is not too bad to say he is a big guy. So taking a look at the figure. I'm going to be honest, I really don't like this blue. I can see what they've gone for, but I don't think it works. It looks a lot... How can I... It looks too clean, I think. I know they tried getting this rough, like, battle-worn look. You know, all the bits of metal showing, like grazes and stuff, but the blue, there's just no dirt, dirt or all. It needs some weathering on it. I think if this would have been weathered up and made it look a bit darker, the blue would have looked a lot better. So that's a bit disappointing. But the, the design of the figure, I really do like. The idea of this big heavy infantry guy. So the head, as you can see, has got the same dints as the Mandalorian and Boba Fett. The whole worn away bits is antenna doesn't come out. And we've got this lighter blue. Moving down, this is hard plastic. And same again, we've got all the little details. Well, this bit on the chest is sticking out, which I don't think does anything. No. On the arms, we have the different colour. I do like the Mandalorian sign on the left shoulder. We've got mustard colour, tan coloured. 
and then we have the iron cannon which has got a firing piece so you can attach a piece into the end of that which is cool I do like that and again this is all worn away and broken you can see some detail here and get that to focus there so you can see that detail there and then we have like little panels and stuff do like that on the other arm it's just a that brownie armor same as the Mandalorian colors really we have this belt which is attached can't maneuver it around or anything and we do have this skirt protector thing same as like the clones and stuff that is a soft plastic and then on the legs same core design see oh they have weathered it here if you look here this is a different tone on his legs so they have weathered the shin parts on this yellowy bit but it is a different colour to this mustard it's same colour but this has been a lot weathered a lot more and same again it's got all marks and dints and battle scars should we say so I really do like that these gold buttons so I think if they just give him a black wash maybe just to give him that little bit extra I think that would have worked a lot better in my opinion anyway I think he's going to look, compared to the Mandalorian and Cara Dune and other characters, I think he's going to look a bit too clean, a bit too plastic here. That's where he looks. But let's have a look at his accessories. So we do have his big heavy gun. So we have this backpack. And again, it's like a jetpack. Well, it is a jetpack in it, if I remember. But it's like a power pack. It does just go straight into his back, I'm assuming. And we do have this, which I wonder... Ah, that attaches into the yeah, so that attaches into the arm. We do have some old firing pieces there. Could maybe use some of Tony Stark's bits, maybe. You know, from his repulsors. Then we do have this chain coming down. It's supposed to be like a mini gun. Or oh, same as like uh Chiruts, which is attached, it'll give power to this big heavy gun. This gun looks awesome. But again, it's goes silvery on the end. I wish they would have made it a bit more tight. Get it like a more realistic look. So the handles do swivel around. So it's got handles. It looks like an M60. So it's like a mounted machine gun, but obviously he uses it himself. So try and spin it. I do like the design of this weapon though. But let's kit him out and have a look. So just pops. Oh, and it wants to straight on the back. Then I'm assuming this threads in there like so there we go and then the gun comes up and you can have him holding it in various ways so I think it have it something like hmm don't know actually it have that and oh Jesus you have that hand in there like that, and then... Hmm, this hand don't look right. Personally, I would have had him moulding the side bit here, but it don't want to fit. Let me have a little play around with it. Jump cut. And we're back. So, as you can see, I've got him moulding it with both his hands. He's got that, like, brown in 30 calibre machine gun, you know, like, World War II look to him. And... At the moment, this is the design I do like the best. I have got him in a couple of other stances where he is just holding it with one hand, but it don't look really that good. So I like the idea of hold it, having to hold it with two hands. But it looks badass. It really does. If you do have him holding it with one hand, then you can have this arm free to use as a separate weapon to have him like his aim in it. But I do like the idea of having him standing like this, like I said, like a browning machine gun from World War II. Laying down support fire. Could have. He also reminds me of uh, Jesse the Body Ventura from uh, Predator. Imagine him mowing that jungle. Ooh, might have to do him going up against Predator actually. Could be a good crossover. So there he is, and he looks really, really good. I do like it. I might have to give him a black wash myself. Just to change the blue a little bit. So we do have the Mandalorian. And as you can see, you can see the size difference. Uh, the knees are both bent a little bit. But as you can tell, he is a lot, lot bigger. And then finally, from the Mandalorian as well, 
carry down. She wants to stand. Stand. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Stand, Cara. Come on, come on, Gina. Here we go. So we have these three all aiming off their weapons. And then, oh, why are you doing it to the? Why are you doing this to me, Gina? I love you. Look at that. That looks mint. I really do like the look of this. It looks gorgeous. I think I am going to pose these three together. But guys, what did you think of this review and of this figure? Are you going to be picking him up yourself? He is a bit scarce at the minute, especially in the UK. I know some online stores are getting him back, but I don't know if whether it's going to be before Christmas or after or not. But check your local Disney store. They have got him in. I think I paid £29. I think you were about £28, £27 online. But £29 in store. Go check him out. Coming up after this should be Cara Dune. And then we've got the Rise of the Skywalker stuff. I'm going to try and get loads of reviews out real quick. Keep watching The Mandalorian. If you like this video, please like and comment and all that good stuff. And most of all, subscribe. I really need your help. I'm going to be posting loads of images of this guy on Instagram. And also stick around for some cool pictures of what I'm going to be doing right now. Thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one.